The Guazuru Natal Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs hosted the annual Women in Leadership Dialogue in an effort to bring together over a thousand women councillors and amakosi for the purpose of celebrating the role they play in the creation of better communities in the province. Under the theme Be Bold for Change, prestigious women leaders took the stand to share words that sought to inspire women councillors to play an active role in tackling the challenges in the local governments. But, uh, as women, we always have um, so many things. Um, we are mothers, we are aunties. Um, sometimes we are homework teachers, sometimes we are doctors, it's only male, it runs to you, mom, you know, I've been injured, um, somebody who cries, you, we are everything. And sometimes we, we don't even get time to invest in ourselves. And what we've seen here and what we've what we've taught our women here is that we have to invest in yourself as a woman because with the time that you have five years as a counselor um, your budget should be I'm only a counselor for five years and after these five years what then and we should be able to say I've got my certificate I can be able to do something but we've also said to those women here even if um, those that are not going to be able to go to the university we want people to have driver's licenses we want people to be able to have entrepreneurial skills to learn how to start a business we want uh, uh, others to know how to do flowers how to do flower arrangement how to decorate so that we have skills that empowers us as women to stand on our own to be able to say no i'm also equal to my male counterpart i'm also equal to the challenge as women we must come together work together but also we must influence men particularly progressive men to work with that against those who oppress women those who are violent against women but also as women we are the ones who pass culture to next generations. So we must make sure that as we socialize our children, we socialize them properly so that they know that they must respect their women, they must respect their sisters, their aunts, whoever, that they are also equal and they must respect each other. Because if we don't, socialize them properly, we can expect them when they are older to just know those values. So it's a, it's a process where everybody must be involved. I don't think there's one section that we should say must, we must all be involved. We must, and culture is not static, it's dynamic, it changes. So those aspects of culture that are pro oppressive, we must leave them behind. Those aspects of culture that are progressive, we can continue with them. Because culture, if it's, if it's static, anyway it will die. So it has to adapt to the times. You know, we women have the power, but we are very complacent. We need to work at it. If we join hands from all religious backgrounds, we can get stronger, a stronger voice to speak out, really. As the slogan says, be bold for change. Thank you. Zanelle Mbata, Cocktail and Municipality News, Connect World TV, Durban.